Today we will learn about Japanese school lunch. It is called kyoshuku. This is much more than lunch. It's an essential part of Japanese kids' education that teaches them four things health, etiquette or manners, mindfulness, and socialization. One thing that makes Japanese schools very much unlike the United States is that they don't have cafeterias, so the students must eat in their classrooms. However, there is still one central kitchen where everything gets cooked, and there has to be some system of delivering the day's lunch to the hungry student body. So each day, students take turns going to the kitchen to pick up food and serve it to their classmates. This is sort of like in our classrooms where you have a job for the week. So maybe your job is to be the line leader or the door holder, or maybe one week you might be on the lunch crew to go pick up and serve lunch to your classmates. At the kitchen, the cooks have loaded up the cart with the food for each class. After formally thanking the cooks for their hard work, the kids will then take their class's allotment of food and take it back to their classroom. Perhaps you noticed that these young students look like they are about to go work in a hospital, but this being Japan, the process is very organized and sanitary when it comes to lunch. The helpers for the day put on smocks, caps, and masks. And before heading off to the kitchen, the team leader will do a double check to make sure that nobody has a cough or the sniffles. And anyone who does will be removed from the rotation to serve lunch that day. Everyone must wash their hands and cleanses them carefully with an antibacterial gel. While the lunch crew is off to retrieve food from the cafeteria, the rest of the class is laying out their chopsticks and a placemat. Each student is expected to bring these items from home. Uh, this is so that our desks will stay clean uh, that they study on. Each child will bring a placemat, a handkerchief or a napkin, a cup, chopsticks, and a toothbrush to brush their teeth after they eat their meal. These items are expected to come to school cleaned each and every day, ready to eat lunch. Once the food arrives, the day's servers pass out any of the prepackaged foods and cartons of milk. The rest of the kids will form a line and receive the rest of their meal. This seems very similar to how we get our lunch um, on a normal day. We would go through the lunch line and the lunch ladies would serve us our lunch. The biggest difference here is that the students are serving the lunch. The teacher in the classroom will show each student how much food to serve so that everybody gets an equal amount of food. Nobody gets any more or any less. Everyone is treated the same. One thing that is notably different than our lunch system here in the United States is that nobody eats until all have been served and seated. And this includes those that are passing out the meal. The class leaders will then explain the contents of the meal and where all the items were sourced from. So they might have grown in the school garden, they might come from local farmers, fishermen, etc. Then, all of the students will use the expression itarakamasu, which means, I will receive. This is spoken at the start of most Japanese meals. It is a reminder of the animal or plant life feeding us, plus the farmers, fishermen, transporters, and cooks who all made it possible. Let's take a look at some of the sample lunches that might be in a Japanese school. You might see things like this. You will always have a protein, a veggie, a carb, soup, a drink, and sometimes you might have condiments. So this particular day, students are eating meat and potatoes as their protein. They're having bean sprout salad. They're having rice. They're having a miso soup, and for drink, they will drink milk. Every day, milk comes with the meal, just like it does here in the United States. Today, this meal has nori, which is seaweed. This meal only has 681 calories. 
Now, you might see something on this tray or this lunch mat that you would not want to eat. Yes, there are things that students do not enjoy eating, but they do eat them. Here is another day. On this day, students are having roast pork in onion sauce. Veggies are gonna be the mixed salad with baby fish. They're having rice again. The soup is a vegetable miso this day. And again, they are drinking milk. On day three, students will have fish. Fish is served many days in the Japanese school systems. They do not typically have meat day after day, so fish and vegetable options are also used uh, to, throughout the weeks. Each school does have a nutritionist to make sure that the meals are nutritionally balanced for the students. They have mixed vegetables, rice, potato miso, milk, and today there is a snack of fermented beans. As you can see, this day looks like it might be a little special. This is a day that they will have rainbow trout as their protein, vermicelli salad for their veggies, the carbs are rice again, and this day they will have pork miso. For drink, they will again have milk. However, this day, there is a sweet treat, a sweet potato tart. As you can see, the calories are a little higher. Desserts are not standard. This is not something that will happen every day. Sometimes seasonal fruit will also be added to the meal. This day looks like it might be delicious. I think this would be my favorite day. On this day, students will eat seasoned chicken, corn salad, and udon as their carb. Those are the noodles that you see in the left-hand side of the page. They will also have veggie udon broth. Students will put the noodles into the soup before eating. As you can see, today they will also have milk again. The last meal that I have to share with you is a special holiday meal. The nutritionist for each school plans the meals out a month in advance. So this person would take a look at any special events or holidays that might be happening within the month and would plan accordingly. So on this day, students are having an omelet, which is made of eggs. They will have vegetable medley. They will have tomato rice, chicken soup, milk, and on this special day, they will also have cake. The cake is in the little uh, green triangle that you see in the center of the screen. Gutsu sama desta. After finishing, the e people who are eating will say this to say thank you for the food that they are eating and that they are finished. After they are finished, the kids on duty for the day will cart the dishes back to the kitchen for washing. They will also rinse and gather the empty milk cartons for recycling. As you can see, they are rinsed out and laid flat inside of a carton and returned to the cafeteria. Lunch altogether takes about 45 minutes even after all the students have been served and everything has been cleaned up. Now, you may think that things are over and it is time to go back to class, but it is not over yet. Now it is time to clean the school. It's not just their classrooms that the kids sweep and scrub, as they also have to take care of the hallways, gymnasium, entryway, and yes, even the bathrooms. The kids follow this routine every day, and it's all part of the belief in the Japanese schools that the students shouldn't just be learning math, science, and literature, but they should also learn to be self-sufficient, this means do things on your own, not to be a burden to others, and to appreciate the efforts made on their behalf. So to show them to be thankful for the people who do things for them. I want you to think of three things that would go on each side of this chart. If you were to compare school lunches from the United States and the school lunches in Japan, how would they be the same and how would they be different? What was something that you enjoyed learning about today in regards to the Japanese lunches?
Be sure to come back next Monday to learn our new content. It will drop on Monday morning. Sayonara. Arigato.